an hour since we should have started. Um, I'm a rally driver in sort of a, an alternative life. That's 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 where I see myself. But I'm also a lot of things in my alternative lives. I'm a pop star. I'm a minor. Let's watch yeah. this. No one. Uh, yeah, Kyrie's the decider. Two, one. Let's do this. Just patrol. This is uh, Sparty versus Base here. Yep. Best of three. The 125 FPS November December League Group C2. And I'm on Sparty. I won't be on Sparty long because he's down already. Uh, I couldn't even finish that. Nice. Is this what? That's not kind of the kind of result that Sparty was expecting when he just go go there pretty went there pretty ballsy and Bess was just hitting those shots and right now he's getting gonna have the full control. Knocked off of the red armor so early. I, I don't know, maybe he was a little bit hesitant at the beginning and could have got onto the red sooner. Uh, but dies again. I think Talex maybe his crystal ball works even better than Ince's, so I hope this isn't a, the omen of what is actually gonna happen to Sparty today. Yeah, I mean it. If that's the case, it's gonna be a very sad day. All right, there he goes. Probably successfully dropped down based on hitting the shot, but he's still not gonna be able to tackle a challenge for this item. He hits one of those rails. This is important. And wow! A second one. Base is not hitting base. I mean, there's such a small time window where base could have hit those. Well, Sparty's actually doing quite well on stacks now. He's taking two yellows, completely undamaged. He's probably gonna have to let this mega drop. He's gonna actually push in with the rockets, dealing some good damage, but he doesn't want to commit. He hasn't dealt enough damage. But what is this what fight? Is what is going on between these? They're, they're just changing weapons. There's more time spent changing weapons and not shooting than there is actually doing damage. And for some reason, Spot decides to re-engage. This time, base is a little bit more prepared and gets a third kill. So this is a excellent first two minutes for base. I really don't understand what Spidey was doing there. Why didn't he dis disengage when he had the chance? I guess he just tried the double back, but uh, base was not getting fooled. Yeah, I think base might have expected him to go to the lower yellow as well, so I guess that's why Sparty moved back over to the 50. Because it would have been a bit too predictable, but easy kill now for base. Solid yeah, LG. That, that was a nice trap there, I guess, but yeah, mm -hmm. as you said, very solid LG. It was just, you know, there's nowhere really for Sparty to go, is if you're going to go away, you're more than likely going to fall off the edge or be even more predictable to hit, so... Oh god, is this going to be another nightmare situation for Sparty? He's done okay damage, but I think just, base is my chase. And, uh, be happy with it. He might have time to go challenge for items, but now Mega is too late. Oh! But he got the red. This is very good for Sparty. That's more than I expected, to be honest. I, I thought base would have had... Would have harnessed the respect to just force Sparty out of that room, but all right. Interesting that Sparty didn't go to the top yellow. He's expecting base to push through, so I imagine his health was extremely low then, that he didn't that, feel safe. That's possible. Unfortunately for him, base missed that shot pretty much. Uh, base, base knows the angles. He knows what Sparty's up to. Expecting damage from everywhere. Strange move there from base, but he's tidying it up. Should be able to pick up another kill, but he can't hit the rails. One, One health. On base. Sparty, where's your, where's your aggression now? There we go. <laughs> Just before the yellow spawn. Sparty, hits the shot. He would have got the kill even if uh, base did take the yellow, but it's even better for him because he has a couple of resources to work with. But why didn't you just go with the LG up the stairs? You probably would have yeah. been able to deny that red armor and pick it up yourself. No, he's also letting uh, base get the LG as well. I don't want to say that Sparty's flustered because he's experienced enough as a Quake player not to, but these are some very, very odd decisions that Sparty's making with his weapon choices. One health point remaining. He's actually going to be able to get to the 50 though. Maybe he's hungover. He usually, plus usually his prime Quake skill. Maybe he play. Like, maybe maybe, maybe he needs to be. <laughs> yeah. This will get out of there. Sparty, though, has got a yellow tool back on. I mean, I've I've been going all crazy. Uh, like it's all a catastrophe for Sparty. But oh my god, what the hell? This is a catastrophe for Sparty. But it, it is, but at the same time, it's only 5-1 with more than half the game to go. If he's going to make the mistakes, it's better you make them now. Yeah, he just needs to fix his game style a bit here. I mean, he's been landing those rails pretty nice. Let me actually check what his accuracy is. It's, uh, well, it's only 35%, but... 
They've been able to hit them in a nice spot. Ba base is a little bit anxious with some of his aim. His rockets are off. His LG, his LG's been extremely solid, as you can see from his accuracies, and it, it looks like his rockets are great, but he's missing a lot of important shots over here. Sparty is just making mince meat out of him. Two to five. That's a great fight for, Sp for Sparty. Yeah, definitely. Next up, red armor. Sparty is gonna go through this uh, upper rocket launcher route. Oh god. Oh wow. That's Good job by <laughs> Hitting those shots and Sparty not landing them. I couldn't have been better for base. The rocket first, straight into a rail, and then Sparty's just stunned, doesn't know what to do with himself. He'll get a yellow, and he's gonna try and possibly rotate onto the other one, but I think that base has got this angle covered. And Sparty's gonna have to wait a little longer to stack up. But this is, if you wanna play it slow, Sparty, this is possibly your last chance to do that. Like, have a minute or so just to recoup, get 100, 200, or as close to that as possible. If you're gonna do damage, that's uh, even better. I'm. Uh, I'm just thinking, is this basis or Sparta's map pick? I would imagine it being a uh, basis map pick. He's very solid here. Uh, would this yeah. a cure? Was the tiebreaker? Do we? Oh God, Sparty! That yeah, was so late. Oh God, that's that damage that Basil's able to do with a uh, LG. At least he managed to escape with a teleported trick. So. Not looking for frag yet, but there we go. Sparty, I mean, and base extending his lead. I mean, it's all fine for Sparty as long as he's able to recover on his map pick. No, this is, you don't want to give base this kind of confidence, because I, I can easily see base actually getting a 2-0 if it continues to play this well, compared to Sparty. Yep. It's, he's been solid. His aim, to be honest, he could be leading by even more if he was a bit stronger with his rockets. Yeah, that's actually a very good point. He hasn't been hitting those rockets as much as he could. And also, I haven't seen him do a proper LG push where he could like use his strong elements in the aim. He's been oh going, going through these kind of fights that aren't so often for him. And now, getting the frag, and this time getting the red armor as well. So not giving a full hold for, uh, for his opponent instantly. Nice. Conversion there. This could be base falling apart right now. That's two very quick frags, and all of a sudden the game is very close. Yep. So some of the fights that base was losing earlier on was when he actually outstacked Sparty, but was losing in the rocket fights. And there was some awkward positioning when uh, Sparty got his uh, third point uh, just before the conversion. So I think Base might be losing his mind a little bit right now. This is an important map for him to win. He's going aggressive this time, trying to do good damage to Sparty, and it is going to work, in fact. Is yeah, that enough? He either was expecting Sparty to not come up, or if he comes up, that's going to be the jump pad, and uh, that's free damage. Mm -hmm. So, not a bad move from base at all. Not at all, especially now that he's got the Mega, and then onto the red, he's hitting two rails like this, he might be able to get another frag, a tickle of the LG, and he's trying to add a little bit of style to this, but... Yeah, if that rail would have hit, that would have been like, instant to plus 10 style points. <laughs> I just uh, switched over to Sparty, so he was on 20 health only, and base found him very, very quickly. That's actually the type of thing that Demon can pick up on. When base finds knows that his opponent's really low, he's going in biting immediately to get the kill. And uh, I don't know why I've just brought Demon into this discussion, but he's one of the players who kind of doesn't. There's, there are more players that do this, but Demon is definitely one of the guys who struggles to finish off his opponent when he gets them low and they walk out of that fight. Yeah, it's it's not an easy skill to learn like when to be aggressive and when not to be aggressive. But yeah. uh, like sometimes even if your opponent might be low, you might go too confident pushing in and then you realize, oh crap, I ran into a choke point. Oh crap, he juggled with me with rockets, oh crap, our stacks are equal. Yeah, I'd say the 10th frag there was GG for base, and they're getting another one. He looks pretty pretty happy with himself at the moment. A delay on the Mega, waits for Sparty to come back in, and it's going to be more easy points on the board for him. Oh, there we go. That was a great frag. Yep. I mean, it wasn't looking close when it was 7 to 4, but uh, yeah. he's to, to this direction this quickly. I mean, uh, all of a sudden, when it was 7-4, to four, it was actually Base who turned on the heat with his rockets, and then Sparty choked in a fight you would have expected him to win. 
So, Sparty had a chance to come back in there. He definitely made a big opportunity for himself. But it's turned into a bit of a whitewash. Um, with regards to the points here. Someone's just saying, finally some Russian rockets. I guess you're referring to that fight, oh, yeah, taking it 8-4. to four. So, like, Sparty's hitting 50... Okay. 87% shotgun. Alright, there's some ridiculous uh, aim from Sparty, but he didn't really use the LG a whole lot. He used a lot of rail, though. But 13-5 um, to 5 for base on the first map. Uh, I'm going to make sure I get those points down properly. Alright. And, uh, and second map, T7. So. T7, okay. This is, should be a very different story, but if, uh, if base is feeling himself, I said before the show... Um, that I'm not that excited about seeing base, but he's definitely one of those people who, on a good day, is oh, capable no. of beating a lot of top players. So maybe we're actually getting some of that Super Saiyan base that I was um, half expecting. Could it be possible, could it be possible. Just gotta see how it goes here. Mm-hmm. I, I think, mean, uh... I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it... I find it very difficult to accept uh, base as a favorite on T7. Straight yeah, but... Up. Uh... I think he still should be able to show some uh, very nice performance here. I guess a good start like he did on uh, Sinister. Like the, the Sinister start was perfect for him, you know. Hit two rails, a bit of crater damage from Sparty. Uh, helped base to get a frag in the, within the first ten seconds. It might have been... Something like that, yeah. First five. Um, also, Talex, the decider is Kier. Yes. Found a... Uh, I know that base is definitely solid there, but Sparty, I believe, is much stronger on Cure than he is on Sinister. Yeah, Sparty uh, is very strong on Cure. But uh, if he managed to cock it up here on T7, <laughs> we might not see a Cure. Exactly, exactly. And that would be really, like, if base does get the series win, then what Talek said earlier about thinking that Sparty's going to choke this uh, this group stage, and, uh, you know, I, maybe it's going to be base who gets through. There could be I a fight Talex between base and Sting. The match here. He's fixed it. He's uh, to finish mafia. slipped a few quid into uh, Sparty's pocket. <laughs> Who needs the prize pools anyway? This is going to turn into some horrible Korean StarCraft 2 shenanigan where I don't even want to get into it. Yeah. We don't have that in Quake. Let's get into game, guys. It's uh, Sparty versus Base in Whoa. the second map over here. It what? is match point for Base, and thus I shall watch him right now. Yeah, getting the Red Army quick, going for the Railgun. Not a bad start. Still need them rockets and the LG. I like how he's going very careful here in the mega room. Doesn't want to get uh, ambushed by any of those rockets. I mean, Sparty could literally be anywhere. He has no information whatsoever. I'm surprised he's not looking more around him. He kind of just stood on the red armor, but again, hitting some great rockets. Russian rockets, yeah. But he needs to hold on to this health. Oh, that was great, bro. He might be able to actually finish the job off over here. Sparty's going to be forced through the teleporter. And now pick your angle wisely. He's going to get the frag. 1-0. And the Mega is sitting and waiting for him. Yeah, even though Sparty wasn't hitting bad rockets at all, he managed to take base down pretty low. I really like base's combat skills there. He was just playing very patient, hitting those shots. He didn't even need to dodge much. He was just staying in cover. Oh god, this is horrible for base though. Sparty's waiting for the rail. He knows if he hits this, he'll get the kill. He's gonna go through the teleporter and look for the frag, I think. 50 health bubble is up at the moment. Um, base, uh, he's gonna be regretting moving into the room because Sparty is gonna hit him square between the eyes and get himself on the board. That was a simple case of base uh, biting off a lot more than he could chew. And yeah. Sparty gets 2 1 now. Not a wise decision, but. It's, it's only 2 to 1. We'll see if uh, Spidey is able to convert even more. But I think base just had a enormous opportunity to deal massive damage with the rockets. But uh, we didn't see that unfortunately. Essentially he decided to get the Mega before going to the red when there was only about 3.5 seconds before the red spawned him. And he knew that it was 95% likely that Sparty's going to be spawning in the red room. So what he should have done is either scrap the Mega, go back in the red room, have a look, something that you've probably seen Cypher do a million times, uh, and maybe expect Sparty to spawn in the shotgun. He can try and fight. If he hits the first shot, then he can get the red and uh, conclude the kill, and then get a spawn kill in the Mega room as he rotates for the Mega. But... Picking up the Mega first was probably the worst decision. Or the best decision if he chose not to go into the Red Room. Yeah, exactly. 
And uh, right now, all the armors are up, and uh, Base was just looking for that angle, not able to hit it. Swat is so stacked right now as well, it's just, it's just silly. Yeah, Base better play careful. Sparty also playing it sneaky, trying to get a drop on his opponent, so he doesn't have time to properly even escape. It's gotta be a kill right now, he can leave him alive if he wants, the red's up in a second, so you just position yourself nicely, get over to red. He's gonna find base immediately, he hits the direct rocket, then Plasma's starting to burn a bit, but those are the rockets we love to see. Yep, very patient shots, two directs, perfect. 70% rail for Sparty at the moment, and he's gonna get a little oh bit of splash. God. That was actually pretty awesome hitting the splash damage. Red and Mega up at exactly the same time, and it looks like Sparty's after the armor. He's gonna have a guesstimate at the Mega being taken. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes and gets a bit more rail ammunition, as it's been helping him a huge amount. Just whether or not he expects base above him, which he's gonna find it. They're gonna commit. Sparty's got no choice. He's on one health though. Base is gonna double back in, and actually ch it turned out to be a great move from him. But I think yeah. Sparty can challenge Red. He is gonna be able to challenge it, and Base left on eight health after a rocket. Good spawn for Sparty. But uh, what he really wants to make sure is that uh, Base can't go for the Mega straight away. And uh, yeah, Sparty has been able to get in the position, take the item, and just keep running. I would expect if he goes all aggressive now, but going through this doorway a bit too dangerous. What base yeah, should have done before is not double back and just get the kill without having to do that in uh, the rail room, because he would have been able to sit on the re red armor much more easily and force the spawn a little bit further away. Right now he's in a lot of trouble with five health. He's doing a surprising amount of damage, but his rocket's mistimed on the teleporter exit and Sparty's going to extend things. It's a... Uh, a good second map for Sparty, and right now, if it's gonna stay this way, we will be getting a tiebreaker. Yeah, I'm sure Sparty is getting a bit more warmed up here. I guess uh, that's one of the problems he had in the first map. I mean, he was just looking a bit off, but right now it's looking like a slightly different player again. Some twitch moves here from base, I really like what he's doing at the moment. Can you hit this route? This is such a hard angle if Sparty's even gonna move past that. It's gonna look ready. What? Sparty, what are you doing? 35 health. Oh, base. How much health does Sparty have? Sparty's on 40, so one rail. Um, not getting the kill, Sparty. Sparty on 10 health and now has the red armor. Fortunately, he gets one of those 25, so. Oh, base, you're playing with fire right there. You had to get the kill. Before he got over to that health bubble, basically. So it's such nice play from base, but it, it kind of falters in the end. Sparty yeah, ranks he supreme. Run down with LGF straight after he realized he hit the rail, but I guess he wasn't aware of Sparty's stack so well. <laughs> base is a problem right now. Base got rockets at the moment, and they're both going to be hitting them. Eight to four. Who has the better spawn? I believe Sparty does. He should be in the red room. But he's got no weapons, so base with the weapons, two direct rockets, it's gonna be another kill for him. Uh, awesome shots. Oh wow, Russian rockets, once again. This game might be flipping on its head. Yeah, I mean, Sparty goes for the Mega, he managed to steal the Mega, and now he should be getting this yellow as well. Just but keep... Uh, base just needs to keep him here, and then set up for red armor. Yeah, Sparty not even going for the yellow. Just wanted to go for a challenge at the red. Well, this is all right for base as long as timings. He should have a he should have an idea of exactly when uh, red and mega's up. He's doing decent rocket damage. Look for a vertical shot would help him out a huge amount. Be careful if Spotty decides to go through the teleporter. Wow, what a move! Oh, God. Vertical drive by. Those are so awesome to see. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that, but yeah, I agree. I mean, how else are you gonna describe those when you I don't even know, I don't even know, I think you hit the nail on the head there, <laughs> I've just never heard it. You don't see it very often though, that's, that's, uh, that's the thing. Especially in real life drive eyes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> right now Sparty is... Oh god, this, this is horrible. Sparty is uh, making this game closer and closer as he keeps getting caught by base. Yeah, he needs to play more defensively. Right now, base is getting the better of him. LG, you need to be hitting it, base. You've been so good with it earlier on. There it is. Tied game, but 
base does lack. Okay, no, he doesn't really. Not after those two items. He's he's looking pretty damn good right now. Yeah, and again, base finding his party in the railgun room. How many times has this happened in this map already? Oh my god, that was close. Off the railgun room platforms and just hitting those shots. Uh oh. Spotty is in trouble. This is the lead right now for base. Yep. Nice weapon selection, nice. Well Whoa. read the stack. Okay, again, I'm, I'm loving the little movements we're getting from base. He's he's really showing some fine style today. Red and Meg are going to be up at the same time. You can tell that base is really anxious about this. He doesn't want to let Spot get anything for free. He hits one rail. He hits a second one, unbelievably enough. What the hell's happened oh, wow. to base today? That couldn't have gone know, better for him. Mm -hmm. He still has a uh, bit less than two minutes try and uh, keep this lead, or maybe he wants to extend it, I wouldn't be surprised. He's in the control. He should go to Mega, Spari. I think. Yeah. He and can't, he can't get both. The aggressive moves here. Spotty should know that he's got time to get the red uh, Mega. So I'm contested if he can jump across. Yep, there it is. And I think that was the item that base should have been going for instead. You always want to have that the health advantage. If both players are picking up a ton of armor, then it's the Mega that splits the difference. I'm going to switch over to Sparty right now because he's... Yeah, look, at his stack is going to actually yeah, be better than Bases very, very soon. He's been able to build it very well here. And now he wants to go aggressive. That's a one-minute warning, but it's only one frag mate. It's one of those 50 damage rockets, but Base is hitting more. Sparty, you don't want to come in for this fight. If you lose one more frag, it's going to be so hard to get back in the game. Better just try and find another opportunity here. Oh god, that rocket from base! The rail now! 18 health! How? This is, this is, this has got to be impossible. Sparty, how are you going to conjure anything? You can't! Base is going to get the kill and with 30 seconds to go. Sparty, where's the spawn? Telefrags galore or something. I can't see any other way out of this right now. He's, he's trying to look around. He's got weapons to play with at the moment and base is just surely going to be hiding. Does he want to confront Sparty at the moment? I don't think it even matters. He's going to hit him before he gets to the floor. Kill him even. And uh, I don't think Sparty's happy about that because he's just lost 2-0 to base here in the second group stages. That, this was meant to be a freebie for Sparty. Yeah. In the beginning you were saying like, uh, can't be too excited about base playing in a group like this. But uh, I think we should be more excited about base games in the future. Yeah, more BC than Evil and Cypher combined.